Wait, little kitty. Don't go out without the mask. Well, well, well. That's what we all thought. But unfortunately, a new variant known as Omicron has popped up and has become a matter of concern for the world. That's what we will learn today. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us shed some light on this newly mutated species of coronavirus and see how dangerous is the Omicron variant. Zoom in! We already learned so much about coronavirus in our previous videos. So I request you, please check the same to have in-depth knowledge about this subject. Though there is still a lot of confusion around the coronavirus, one thing is for sure, that is, it keeps mutating into new variants and Omicron is the latest member in its family. Which raises the question, how does this virus mutate? Well, that happens when an existing virus exchanges its genes with some wild flu virus present in pigs or other poultry animals in the process called antigenic shift. This brings a dramatic mutation in the virus, making them stronger with unpredictable behavior. And as the animal's body isn't prepared to tackle this new version of the virus, it makes it hard for the animal's immune system to detect and fight these unique species. And soon they begin to take over its body, causing symptoms like fever, inflamed eyes and running snouts. And once a human comes in contact with these poor infected animals, the virus quickly takes this opportunity and jumps into a new host. And we could only assume that something similar must have happened in the case of the Omicron variant 2. This variant was first reported to WHO, who, from South Africa, on 24th November 2021. And since the finding of this mutated version of the corona, there has been a steep increase in the number of COVID patients in almost all provinces of South Africa. Due to this, on 26 November 2021, WHO designated Omicron as a variant of concern. But the vital question is, just how much threat does Omicron present to us? Well, first of all, it is essential to know that not much information is available on this subject yet. Yes, it is unclear whether Omicron is more transmissible than other variants, including Delta. Although the number of people testing positive has surged in South Africa, affected by this variant, Epidemiologic studies are underway to learn if it is because of Omicron or any other reasons. Yes, scientists in South Africa and around the world are conducting studies to better understand many aspects of Omicron and will continue to share the verdicts of these studies as they become available. So, until we receive any concrete evidence Regarding its severity, we must abstain from spreading any information that could lead to a state of mass panic. But remember my friends, all variants of COVID-19 including the Delta variant that is dominant worldwide can cause severe disease or can be fatal, particularly for the most vulnerable people. Also, preliminary evidence regarding Omicron suggests that there may be an increased risk of reinfection, meaning people who have previously had COVID-19 could become reinfected more easily with Omicron as compared to other variants. Although the information is still very limited, it is our duty and responsibility 
to keep taking preventive measures like wearing masks, maintaining social distance and using sanitizers more than usual. But here is a piece of good news. According to WHO, the current set of vaccines seems to be somewhat effective against the new variant too. So, the best option to beat this new virus and bring our world back to normal is by getting a vaccine shot ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know WHO began naming the variants after Greek letters to avoid public confusion and stigma? Yes, the Omicron variant was named after the 15th letter of the Greek alphabet. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>